Good morning. So earlier this morning, actually about 5.40 our time, 8.40 Eastern Standard Time, the families and the friends of the over 3,000 victims that died on 9-11, those names were read one by one at the memorial in New York City. And then throughout this morning and for the rest of the day, communities like ours, schools, families, um, even churches will come together to remember and to honor those victims. And there's really two things that all of us, when I say all of us, I mean all of us here at Parker, but also all of us across the country are asked to do today to remember and to honor those victims and their families. And the first we're gonna do in a moment, we have asked three of our students, Bryce and Brendan Kelly and Alex Galanis, all Eagle Scouts, who will raise the flag and then drop it to half mass, at which time we will participate in a moment of silence. But before we do that, let me tell you what the second thing is. It's something that we actually do for the remainder of the day. We're asked this day to honor those victims by treating each other kindly. There's a wonderful saying for 9-11 that goes, it's through the simplest acts of service and the smallest acts of kindness that we honor the victims through our goodness to one another. So what we're asked to do today is treat our friends well, thank our teachers, hug our parents, help a stranger. In doing that, it's the highest honor for those whose lives were lost. At this point, I'd like to ask Gare Hoff, our Director of Awareness, to come up and share a few words. Thank you. Fourteen years ago, one of the most horrific tragedies in our nation's history occurred. Many people lost their lives or loved ones. In response to this attack on American dignity, everyday life, whether it was new security measures in the airports to cameras in the stores, changed on account of the fact that those people who died, like us, believe in the right for anyone to lead their lives how they wish. We, both as a school and a population as a whole, are incredibly fortunate to have the opportunity to excel, an opportunity that very few around the world are given. We have the freedom to practice religion, dress as we please, to be publicly critical of the government, and to be active in the improvement of where we live on a local, national, and global level. We have the power to question, to prosper, to fail, and to try again. The enormity of this tragedy reminds us of the price of this opportunity and the cost to give this incredible gift to others. The agony and pain that occurred on this day 14 years ago cannot be in vain. Make it meaningful. It is as simple as thanking that veteran walking down the street that sacrifices his life for our freedom and opportunities. Or forgetting about petty squabbles and remembering that when we stand together, we stand the strongest. A horrific tragedy rocked our nation 14 years ago today. And I ask you now, are you going to give it meaning? We live in a time where we constantly focus on all the imperfections of government and nation. Our eyes are on inequality, division, and hate. We have put ourselves against each other, and we forget that we are all alike. We are all human, and we are all Americans. After this traumatic incident, the country came together to show the world we are America. We believe in freedom, and we will rise stronger than ever before. Now, for the raising of the flag to half-mast by juniors Alex Galanis and Brendan and Bryce Paletti, as well as a moment of silence.
Thanks to all of you. Go be good to one another and have a wonderful day.